In this lesson of uh, Game Maker, where we've ended off is we have sprites of islands, a plane and, and water going. And our plane, we managed to finish that. It moves left, right, up and down. Uh, now we're ready to add a bullet to our plane. And then finally, we're going to go and uh, add some enemies. So um, let's... Uh, Let's go to the next part of um, Game Maker and look at adding an enemy. So first thing I need to do is I'm going to create a sprite. Uh, I'll call it Sprite uh, Bullet. And I'll load the sprite from our resources, the bullet. It looks uh, good. The one thing I will point out, though, is I want to center. So I'm going to actually click on center. And the reason I centered the bullet is because everything in this game is going to be centered. Uh, we're going to use the middle of everything as the middle of uh, where it exists. For example, the plane is centered as well. So I want the bullet to come from the middle of the plane uh, at this point in the game. So I'm going to create an object for the bullet now. The uh, object for the bullet is fairly straightforward. All it needs to do is have a sprite. And when we create a bullet... It just needs to move with a vertical speed of negative, uh, I'm going to say negative eight. And again, you can play around with the speed of the bullet. So pretty easy. Finally, the other event I want to do is if the bullet is outside of the room, I'm going to tell the bullet uh, to destroy itself. Makes sense. I don't want a bullet if it's outside the room. Eventually, I'm going to add collision with a... Uh, enemy but i'll do that in the enemy object okay so a bullet fairly straightforward to add all we need to do add the sprite uh when it's created we set a vertical speed when it's outside the room we destroy ourselves. now one slight problem how is the bullet created does it just come up no what the bullet is going to do is the bullet is going to come from the my plane i like the idea of a space bar to be the event for triggering the bullet so I'm going to add an event of keyboard space. So if I press the keyboard space bar, what I want to do is I want to create an object. And the object I want to create is a bullet. And I want to create it relative to where I'm at. Sounds easy, doesn't it? Well, one slight problem or one problem I'm going to give you for this game is it's too easy. This would make a, I'll hit play here. What it would do is if I held down the space bar, look at what happens. You get too many bullets. Take a look on the screen. It's just like, a, it doesn't just fire one bullet. In fact, it's almost impossible just to fire one bullet. Um, so I need to fix that. So what I'm going to do to fix that is I'm going to put in here a variable. Hmm. So remember we talked yesterday about variables. So the first thing I'm going to do is when the plane is created, I'm going to also go and create a variable. The variable is not a built-in variable. The variable is a variable that I'm creating. I could call it uh, Mr. Poi. That could be fine to call uh, a variable. I'm going to call this variable Ken underscore shoot. One thing about variables, they can't have spaces. So I use the underscore, but can shoot. So you can imagine what this variable is about. This variable is about being able to shoot. So I call it can shoot. That sounds like a good name for it. I give it a value of one if I can shoot. If I'm allowing my plane to shoot, I give it a value of one. Okay, now when I press the space bar, what I want to do is I don't want to just make a bullet. I want to see if I'm allowed to shoot. So what I do is I test a variable and I test a variable called can shoot and I see if it's equal to one because I said if it's one, that means you're allowed to shoot. So I said a variable can shoot. If it's equal to one, what I want to do is make a bullet. But before I make a bullet, I'm going to tell it to make the variable can shoot zero. Why, you might ask? Well, because I want the plane not to be able to shoot. So I tell it 
that can shoot a zero. So after I shoot, I don't want it to be able to shoot for a bit. And so I'm also, as a final thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna add a timer. So I'm gonna add a timer here uh, called alarm zero and I'll give it a number like 30 steps. That's about a second. Um, and I can play with this value as needed. And so I set alarm zero to go off and then finally I'll fi fill my block. So if I'm allowed to shoot, I shoot. I make my variable zero so I can't shoot anymore. And I set the alarm to go off in 30 steps. So finally, I'm gonna add the alarm. And when the alarm rings in 30 steps, it's going to take the variable and can shoot and it's gonna trigger it back to one, so I'll be allowed to shoot again. Now let me test uh, my game and I'll hold the space bar down and what you're gonna see is bullets are only going to shoot every once in a while. There's no super missile of a million bullets. Great, last thing I probably wanna do in this is add a sound effect. The sound effect I would like to add is sound uh, bullet. So when I fire a bullet, I would like to see a, uh, or hear a bullet. Uh, I think it's a, a one is a bullet. Sound explosion one, I can't remember. Let's hit play. Sounds good. And so all I do is when I shoot in the section, the block that I created where I shoot, I'm also going to add to it a sound effect of a bullet uh, and it's just gonna play once and it's gonna shoot as well. 